Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. Another stunning week already. Stocks go up, stocks go down, then we see, then we see, then we see. What a week, what logic. Unbelievable. The market is about logic, okay? And it's not about what you believe. It's not about what position you bought two days ago. It's not about if you, you're buying stock for six months. It's about what's going to happen today. Okay, people lose money because they get silly. Mike Wilson, the guy was the best analyst. And eight months ago, he got dumb. We're going to revisit the low. Earnings are going to go low. Okay. So you're going to wait a month and it doesn't happen. He re-ups, he re-ups, he re-ups, he re-ups, he re-ups two weeks ago. He's not only wrong, he's so blatantly wrong that he shouldn't even have a job. Guys, come on. This is not rocket science. You knew yesterday. So we bought Caterpillar and Deer. And, and you knew that the CPI was timid or low. That the Deer CEO came out. So deer had earnings. We had deer. Had earnings. It was up twenty dollars. So the CEO came out and he made a statement. And you should go listen to the statement over and over again. It'll teach you about trading. He said, "We're factoring in a recession now," because he thought ninety percent chance there was a recession coming. So the stock goes from. 394 and it's about to fly to 360. It loses 34 points that day because he said that he believed a recession was coming. So now there's no recession so far. Earnings are great. AI is doing great. So where should the stock go if there's no recession? 394. Should go back to when he made that statement. Right? It's that simple. So now, if the CPI was way high, then they keep raising rates and they cause a recession. Okay? Now, I've been meeting a lot of people and talking to a lot of people. Uh, and here's the thing Mike Wilson doesn't know. I feel sad for him. Because at his position, he should know this. I think he lives in New York anyway. But if he does, just go to New York, go to Central Park, go wherever, and see how much money people have. You, you don't even compliment. I'm uh, uh, contemplating. Uh, ah, words are wrong today. Comprehend how much money people have. You can't even imagine. Now I understand this one side lives month to month and all this other stuff, but there's a whole other set of people that have stupid money. They have a stupid amount of money, guys. You can't even imagine. They don't have a million. They don't have five million. They have eight, ten, twelve, twenty million. You you can't even imagine the money they have. And those people, a lot of them conservative, have now put that money, five million, into four percent or five percent. So now they're getting a seven hundred and fifty thousand or five hundred thousand. They put in five million at five percent, two hundred and fifty thousand interest. So they're getting interest. They can spend money like you can't imagine. That's why there's no recession. See, this is this is where Sam is better than everybody. There's nobody as good as Sam. Why? Because Sam doesn't care what a book teaches you. Burn the books. 
Burn them. They're too old. Any book over 10 years old, burn them for trading. They're worth it. Any, actually, any book over two years old, burn them. People telling me a recession, oh my God, uh, you know, this is a classic recession. I'm like, well, you, people said, we don't know what happened with the pandemic. Okay. So you don't know what's going to happen with the pandemic. When's the last one? 100 years ago? So you think you, you can go use 100-year-old data to see what's going to happen next? Doesn't happen. This is why people lose money. AI coming in. AI stock is flying. AI coming back. People are like, well, it's not going to do that much. Think about that. Think about that guy yesterday that came on and was talking about NVIDIA. He said, NVIDIA at 400 is too high. I'm buying other stuff. He likes Intel. <laughs> okay, interesting. So that's the little rant. It doesn't matter what you believe. You have no idea what's going on because it's never happened before. You've never had a pandemic, so you don't know what's happening before. You don't know how much money people have. Think about it. Interest rates go up to 6%, 7% on homes, and they're still selling. They're selling less, but they're still selling. Why are they not zero sales? Because people have stupid amounts of money. They don't care. And they're paying cash. Okay? Interesting, interesting, interesting. So today, if the Fed does zero and says we're going to see, and then next month, they're expecting CPI drop to 3.2. 3.2 from four. That means they're not going to do anything next month. And they may be done. Wow. Wow. Okay? Tesla is starting to fly today. Squeezy, squeezy. If this takes out 272, just smile. Just smile. The text, how do they go? The world is changing. And if this is like 2000, which I believe it is, in text, it doesn't matter the reality, guys. I don't care. If, if UPSC goes to 100, and then it goes to 150, and, 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 a, and, a, and a year later it goes to five bucks, I don't care. I'll, I will have sold it and made my money. If Tesla goes to 400 and goes to 100, I don't care. I would have sold it. I would have made my money. Okay? When people talk of a bubble, think about it. They're talking of a bubble of something that happened in a month or two. I'm pretty sure bubbles last for two, three, four, five years. doesn't matter. Make your money and be happy. So if the Fed today, here comes the SPX. Let me tell you. If this takes out 4420 20, today, 4500 by Friday. 4500 Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, Amazon trying to use AMD. But here's a question for you. Because CNBC is not like Sam. They're not as smart as Sam. There's no one, there's not one person on, the, on that TV show that's smart as Sam. Because here's the question. They're saying Amazon may use AMD. So, but why don't you ask them this? So what's the question, guys? Let's see if you guys can think like Sam. What's the question you should be asking? What's the question? What is the PPI? Does somebody know what the PPI is? Uh, down 0.3. Whoa! We're going to absolutely rip. Okay. So, but, but what's the question, guys? Come on. 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 Nobody's answering. Nobody's typing. It's okay. Think like Sam. If Amazon says they're going to use AMD, what question should you ask? Guys, come on. One guy, no. Yeah, you, you're pretty close, Darian. Pretty, pretty close, Darian. Here, here's the question, guys. Can they not get NVIDIA chip? Because if the answer is, we can't procure NVIDIA, so we have to use AMD. Do they have to use AMD? 
or are they voluntarily using AMD? Very interesting, guys, right? If they're voluntarily using AMD, okay, maybe AMD is doing something good. But if they, if they, if Amazon Web Services says I need, you know, ten thousand A one hundred chips, and Nvidia says we don't have them for you, you can't have them for a year, right? That means the demand for Nvidia is so insane the stock's at six hundred. Now, if they're volunteering, and and they probably won't tell you. But that's the question you've got to ask, guys. The questions are simple. See what happens, see what happens, see what happens. Okay? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Hope you like the rant. Hope you learned something. And then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, all about the Fed today. All about the Fed. Stocks go up, stocks go down. Guys, we have so much in, insane amounts of profits in the last three weeks. Take a profit, take your profit, move stuff to the side, and buy some other stuff, and buy the cheap stuff. I told people at the meetup the other day, I said, Sam loves things that are about a dollar. So Sam bought 300 deer at a dollar. Sam bought 300 cats at a dollar. Sam rolled 300 cats at a dollar. Because I like selling it once, like buying it once, selling it four. Boom, boom, boom. I don't like buying the six. A six and selling it 10 or 12. I like buying it more. That's, that's the beauty of this. You go slow, you build your account, you make money, and you smile. Okay, let's get going. Good morning, good morning, everybody. 416, the PPI is good. The SPF should rip. Can we get to 4,400? 4, 4,400 today or seven, they're too high. I love them at two. Can Powell screw this up? He can. He can. So just know that. Don't get screwed. We'll sell some stuff. If Tesla pops about 266 and we get five bucks, we'll probably sell our Tesla and roll. We already have them for this week and next week. Okay? Interesting, interesting. Tesla runs every Friday. What should you be doing? Tesla runs every Friday. Maybe it doesn't this week. Then we see. Then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay, uh, say it's up seven, so let's say 4375, 76, 4382, 4391, 4409, accelerator, under three, under 4350. Avago, if it trades at two, at 868, that's a ways up. If it trades at 868, it can go to 900. If it hits 922, it can go to 950. Holy moly. Sam, you've completely lost your mind. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Underneath 832, NVIDIA. NVIDIA was up to 412 yesterday. Here's what I know about NVIDIA. They have a shareholders meeting. You can't get enough chips. They added orders to two other founders. They're going to guide up, and they're going to guide up again. And let me tell you something. If this can trade at 422, the squeeze will blow your mind. Now, nobody's saying it gets to 422. Maybe it drops here and collapses to 370. I said, if it gets to 422, they will squeeze it. Well, let me research. 631, 639. Carvana, 2629. So let me tell you something. There's a lot of stupid traders out there and analysts. Why would you short Carvana? I don't fifteen. I don't care if the stock is worth zero. Why are you gonna short something that if they spike it, pulls a GME and goes to fifty? Why would you do that? Don't do the hard trade. Yesterday people sent me stuff about Bob. And I'm like, I don't care if Baba goes up 10. We're hitting everything. Why do I want to go to a different trade? Doesn't make any sense to me, guys. Makes sense. Amazon, 127, 131. UPSC, breaky, breaky, breaky. 
breaky, breaky, breaky. <laughs> we have the 38 for this week. We have the 38 for next week. Both adults. Well, the first one isn't, but it will be adult. Meta. 276. Adobe. Adobe is just stupid premium. I mean, the 550s are five dollars. The 600. Well, I know about Adobe. Adobe says split two to one. It's at 560. I don't think they're going to say it, but they could. If they do, it goes really. MBB, any calls over 401 is 422. Bullish has had some issues, uh, uh, so don't avoid it. Netflix, 452. Biden, 149. Deer, 403, 409, 422 beast. Caterpillar, 1, 251, 256. SMCI, if this trade, the 260, look up. It's a long way away. Maybe next week. We added next week. We didn't do this week. NOW, 562. Shopalicia, 66. Microsoft, 238. Tesla, 267. 272. So last week I said 272, 272. And the trolls say, Sam's lost his mind. And now today they're saying, the guy's a genius. Stocks go up, stocks go down. And then we see, and then we see everybody have a great train day. See you in chat.